Come on, her killer grumbled, tugging on her limbs like an impatient dog owner with a leash. The menacing trees arced dangerously, heavy with ice. The same brutal rain that pierced her eyes froze the instant it touched the leafless winter branches, completely encasing the oaks and the maples, turning them into popsicles. Unable to turn away to shut her eyes, Serena stared at the limbs that loomed above her, slicing shiny black patterns through the late afternoon sky, until the limbs began to crack. She listened, horrified, as the cracks grew louder, closer together. A branch sheathed in a thick skin of ice snapped, rattling like a tambourine as it tumbled. It struck another limb on its way down, instantly breaking it free, too. Her killer dropped her leg and arm and darted out of the way, just as one of the limbs crashed and collapsed against Serena's chest, smashing her into the ice-coated ground. The ice pellets had hurt. Breaking her nose had hurt, but that had been nothing, a mere paper cut compared to the pain that exploded through her body now. The force with which the limbs struck cracked her ribs, nearly split her heart in two, and turned drops of congealed blood into glass-sharp shards that ricocheted through her veins. Not here, her killer moaned, too close to the shortcut. Someone could still find you here. He tried to push the limb off Serena, his sneaker slipping out from underneath him, his knees thunking against the earth. He whimpered, frantic, his eyes as white as moons. He grabbed Serena's hand and pulled hard enough to actually dislocate her shoulder, wrench it out of its socket. Had her muscle tissue and skin not still been attached, her arm would have flown off, like a plastic Barbie doll arm. She felt herself wailing inside against the pain, the kind of hurt that would have sent her straight into shock if her heart had still been beating. He tried again, a look of sheer desperation smeared across his face. But Serena was going nowhere. She was trapped, and the rain was falling harder. The world was getting slicker. When her killer angrily threw her hand down, it landed bent at the elbow in a gruesome angle, her palm facing up. The ballpoint letter she doodled above her lifeline in journalism class earlier that morning proclaimed, cheating. He growled and kicked her side. Dumb bitch, he growled, clearly cursing her for being stuck, being dead, being leftovers that were too big to get tossed down a garbage disposal, chewed up and swallowed by the drain. A few smaller branches jingled, scraping against the ground as her killer tossed them across her legs. He bent down and turned her face so that it wasn't staring straight up right at him but to the side. It was an odd gesture, Serena caught herself thinking. It almost showed a slice of humanity, of re guilt, of remorse. He dragged another fallen limb toward her, tossing it over her head and smashing her cheek into the sharp ice. The siren edged out from the distance again, growing louder, ever closer. He bolted up and ran away, his footsteps growing distant. He fell twice, two thuds, one heavier than the other. Serena imagined the lighter thud was his knee striking the ground, the heavier whack his hip. She ached to run away too, but she could only lie beneath the limb, listening to the click of freezing rain dance on bark, listening to the trees crack, threatening to snap beneath the growing weight of ice. The worst part was that her eyes were still open, and there were too many spaces between the branches that her killer had laid across her head. She'd see the next horrible thing that would come for her. Her ears perked against the sharp, rhythmic clatter of freezing rain hitting the trees as she waited for it. A growl, a sniff, the crunch of footsteps. Here she was, as she'd long feared, in the woods, with all those wild animals, all those yellow eyes, all that danger. She couldn't rid herself of the feeling that more hurt was still to come.